Well, life is full of suffering. Its causes are desire. Nirvana is the end of it, extinguishing the fire. To reach the end of suffering, we walk the Eightfold Path. Right view is the first step, meditation is the last. Namaste, and welcome to Secret Heaven. <laughs> This is the big announcement I've been hinting about for a while, okay? I finally got my ducks all in a row, so here we go. Ready? <laughs> Secret Heaven is holographic meditation. Holographic meditation is reaching a state of ecstasy in your entire being, all chakras at the same time. So, I don't have to tell you this is a very big deal. <laughs> it's practically synonymous with enlightenment. So, our practice begins with the physical aspect, the lower three chakras. We don't have to know so many details about all this stuff, huh? but below the navel, <laughs> The navel area is the moving center, and below that is the Dan Tien, which is the energy center, and below that is the sex center. We're using a Chinese chakra system, but have it any way you like, it's the lower chakras. <laughs> so that is the first level, Dvaita Vada, or thinking the material body, taking the material body as the basis, the platform of existence. Then, in the second level, we practice bhakti, or metta, from a Buddhist point of view, that everything and everyone is part of God. And God is the most complete and therefore the most lovable person. So we should love God or the creation in whatever way we like. Uh, and uh, we have access to several bhakti traditions. I personally prefer the South Indian Shakti school of bhakti, but I also have experience with the North Indian Krishna bhakti, Radha Krishna bhakti of Lord Chaitanya, and that is also certainly an option. Now, the third level is called Vishishta Dvaita. Vishishta Dvaita Vada is conditional monism. Conditional non duality is a better word. Conditional non duality. Because we're not saying it's one, we're not saying it's nothing, we're <laughs> not keeping score at all. Uh, but we know for sure it's non dual, that's, that's for certain. <laughs> It might be three or none or 42. I mean, we don't really care. It's not non-dual. That's the important thing. And that non-duality is approachable through the same methods of worship and bhakti that we learned in the first two stages. But this is the actual stage of meditation, sadhana. This is the real initiation. To be able to do that sadhana, very, very deep and very powerful. And then the final and fourth level is ajatta, not born. The material world, this body, the personality, the individual, the self, is all unborn. Uh, all there is, well, it can't be described. <laughs> it's nirvana, nirvana. It's enlightenment, it's ecstasy. It's everything. It's orgasmic. It's beautiful. Okay. So we're going to teach this. Now, how are we going to teach it? All right. I propose establishing a foundation as a non-profit tax-exempt organization, charity or organization, uh, either in the West or in the East, 
it's not too different either way. I would prefer probably an American Delaware 501c3 corporation. But anyway, I'm going <laughs> to establish that. And just like we did in our previous ashram, uh, I'm going to fund the whole thing by investment. I'm a pretty good investment manager. Um, and when we had an ashram before, everybody who came put some money in the pot, whatever they had. And we invested that money, and everybody ate and lived and enjoyed for free for years. And when they left, they got all their money back. So that's the way it works, folks. And to join this community, to join this ashram, yeah, you need to pony up some cash in front. Don't worry, it's all going to be in writing with contracts and blah, 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 so it's all legal and you can get your money back if something doesn't work out, or you will get your money back, even if things do work out. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I could have made 500% just so far this year by investing, okay? So uh, we don't need a large endowment or anything, you know? Uh, I'm shooting for a million to start with, and we probably want to up that to five million for long-term maintenance. And what are we going to do with that money? Well, we are going to do the highest welfare work, which is to spread this teaching. This teaching uses elements, components, and methods from my whole background, which includes everything from Navajo, Native American, Kadoshka, uh, sex magic, uh, Tantra, what came after that? Uh, Nada Yoga, <laughs> Rasa Tattva, uh, Bhakti, and of course all the temple rituals, all the chants, all that stuff, you know. Plus, meditation, hardcore Buddhist style meditation. That's what comes after. Huh? When the mind naturally condenses and concentrates due to focus on the object of devotion, then it's ready to go into actual meditation. And that's the time for instruction in, in the Buddha's meditation path. And that practice leads automatically to enlightenment. You're already on the way. It's just a minimum of seven lifetimes. Huh? But we want to do it all in one. So in the first level, we deal with the material body, health, wealth, exercise, uh, even the base, form the basis for mystical powers in the future by practice of Qigong, Tai Chi, and uh, Iron Shirt and things like that. And then in the second phase, you will worship your chosen deity. And we have ways of finding out, you know, the, the most appropriate deity for you and so on like this. Uh, both astrological and mystical. And then in the third stage, you pretty much have to be living in an ashram situation. Uh, the first two stages can be accomplished while still living outside. But at some point, you're going to want to live in the ashram and be free from all responsibilities and disturbances. So that's why we're going to need five million. <laughs> But from that, I can generate an income, an equivalent amount of money in income annually without even breaking a sweat, right? It's easy. All I have to do is find one or two good investments and pile on. <laughs> it's over in a few days. So what we want to propose then is an international community. Those who have been following these videos. Now, if you look back you know, go to the channel page and look at the playlists, especially. You'll see that we have covered an extremely wide gamut of subjects very deeply. One of our viewers commented uh, just the other day. He said, I'm going through this series and, and there's so many insights coming, bam, bam, one after the other, that the only thing I can compare it to is the sutras themselves. That's a pretty, pretty nice compliment. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> but it's not my knowledge. It's not my teaching. It's things that I've been given, blessed with, actually. And I want to share them, and I will share them. At least with one person. I'll get a lot more popular after I leave the body. Huh? Don't worry. I understand. I have a, a difficult uh, chart and all of this. But that's to keep me out of trouble, believe it or not. <laughs> so even one person who comes who's actually serious and qualified, who can get the whole of the teaching, or at least the methods if not the actual realization. Realization will come when it comes. Maybe this life, maybe next life. It, it, we're not chasing the goal, but we're dedicated to the process, the method of reaching a goal. If we stay dedicated to that process, the goal will come all by itself. We don't even have to think about it. We certainly don't have to worry about it. So, this is what I'm proposing, that we uh, establish a fund and that we start putting money into the fund to be invested for the future development and maintenance of Secret Heaven. And that when we have enough, we will open an ashram someplace. I have a kind of a liking for really gorgeous places. <laughs> really scenic places. We had one ashram in Chile, up in the mountains. My God, it was so beautiful up there. And another place in Mexico, Mexico, uh, in, near uh, Lake, uh, whatchamacallit, Lake, uh, I used to call it Lake Crocodile. <laughs> Lake Catemaco. Catemaco because some idiots with a resort, brought some alligators. And of course, the alligators escaped and infested the entire lake, so it's useless. You can't swim in it. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to Mexico. But the, the place itself was gorgeous, and plenty of pure water and air. I mean, it was just fantastic. So we'll find a place like that. Huh? Probably not in India. Unfortunately, India is headed for chaos in the very near future. So I'm already planning to leave India, probably for the West, someplace in Europe or the USA. Um, because I'm looking for that one person. And that person has to be very qualified and very dedicated. And I don't think they're here in India. In India here, everybody has sold out their life to their family and to their job or if they have a business. Huh? If they have a business, it's a better situation. At least you're the boss and you can determine your degree uh, or level of involvement and the amount of time you spend on your business. If you have a job, you, you probably can't do that. That's why I had a business my whole life. I never had jobs. I mean, I had jobs as part of my business, right? My business was to work for my clients. But anyway, you should be able to free up enough time to do these practices. Or if you want to host me, if you want to invite me, I'll come and teach at your place. But you have to provide enough facility and so on, blah, 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 blah. But I'm really looking for a partner, somebody who wants to help me manage this thing, somebody who wants to do the practices themselves and get the experience and then be able to share it with others because that's really what it's all about. You know, it's one thing to have students come and go and learn different skills and so on, and of course that's good for them. But what we really want to do is in this age of polarization, and chaos, resource depletion, climate migration, and so forth. We want to give valuable skills that will help people with their survival, even. What to speak of, move them along the path towards enlightenment. See, that's what really gets me off. <laughs> so, 15 minutes is almost up. That's the beginning of the description of secret heaven and I'll come back 
with a few more episodes describing the plan in more detail. And this is also an invitation for you to join me to help create this thing, be a founding partner. Okay, so contact me if, you're ha if you have any interest in that, if you're available for that, or if you have the facility to host me. Thank you very much. Om Tatsa, Buddha Saranai.